Hi everyone and welcome back. There are many colloquial expressions that uh, we find in everyday life or we use in everyday life that actually come from a scripture. Uh, I just want to share two with you. Ecclesiastes 10 is that famous one where it says dead flies spoil the ointment or a little fly spoils the ointment. And another one we find in the Songs of Solomon where he says, take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines. And both of these uh, scriptures are referring to how something small that and insignificant that if it's not taken care of can actually contaminate and disrupt the bigger picture, as it were. Uh, maybe a practical example of this is... Uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not, a, I'm not a mechanic. I'm useless. I know how to drive a car, uh, I think. And uh, when it comes down to mechanics, I don't know how it works or why it works. But one thing I, I do know is the sound. And so when I'm accustomed to the sound of a good engine and a good car, uh, I'm okay. But when that sound changes and I hear something small and maybe insignificant. I know that something's not right and I'm able to, to get into a garage and I say, listen, I've got the sound and uh, the mechanic will be able to, to work on the sound and, and sort the problem out. But it's just that little issue. Now, if I don't pay attention and just ignore the sound, that problem can get worse and worse and worse and finally end up costing a lot of money. Uh, it's the same in, in the physical body. I, a friend of mine had a little mark on his skin it was an irritation. He didn't pay attention to it. Uh, it got worse. It didn't get bigger, but it just became more of a nuisance. And his wife was saying, go to the doctor, go to the doctor, but he didn't. And as a result, cut a long story short, sadly, he passed away of skin cancer. This thing was just eating him on the inside. So these little things that we come across in life are important. It's the little fly that spoils the ointment. It's the fox that can destroy the vines. So what is God saying? I believe we need to take care of our heart and the content of our heart and not to allow that little seed of doubt to take root, not to allow that little seed of, of unforgiveness or resentment to take root, not to allow that seed of uh, insecurity to take root, but to keep our, our hearts, as it were, clear from all of these things so that we don't suffer the consequences later on. They may start small, they may start insignificant, but down the road, they can be life-destroying. So the encouragement today is, it's in the details. So let's be careful to uproot these small things, to uproot these seeds, so that they don't grow and they don't destroy. That's our responsibility. May the Lord help us. God bless.